In other news, we go to the WNBA. No! Why? Well, the league just put out a promo stating that they're the best league in the world. <laughs> while downplaying their number one draft pick, Caitlin Clark. Are you retarded? This is the same league that a year ago, no one gave two about. You are correct, sir. And now is the talk of the town because of Caitlin Clark. He ain't lying. Yeah. Go figure. I'm Jasper Gonzo on this. Fuck! Insert joke here. <laughs> and it's what's next. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jasper Gonzo, what's next? Another daily dose for you. Common sense, facts, and salt. Happy Friday as we go into the weekend. Well, I can't believe I'm doing another video on this, but uh, yeah, it's like almost like the story that never ends, and that is the WNBA. Yes, the Women's League that's been funded by the NBA for the past quarter century, and uh, they're the talk of the town. Well, of course, as we all know why they're the talk of the town, and that is because of one Caitlin Clark, number one draft pick, Indiana Fever. Well, the WNBA just put out a promo. They put out a promo highlighting how great they are highlighting how their number one draft pick is going to get them to the next level. How the excitement, how the electricity is there. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's all bullshit. They just talked about how great they are and uh, kind of downplayed uh, one uh, Caitlin Clark. Smart move. Not. And here we go. This comes out of I'll kick. ESPN runs promo calling WNBA the best league in the world and downplaying their number one draft pick, Caitlin Clark. It's the marketing department a job at any company to promote its product or products. But they also have to try to be somewhat realistic. ESPN decided to eschew realism, came for, you know, opting for complete fantasy, in a new promo featuring the upcoming WNBA season. ESPN is excited about the WNBA, and they should be. There's more buzz around the league at any time in its history. That's largely due to for, uh, largely due to former Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark, the number one pick in the draft. But in this new promo, ESPN proudly declares that the NBA is the best league in the world. According to who? Well, let's get to see it again, shall we? You feel that? You can't get enough. The energy, the atmosphere. This place is going crazy. You got buzz, the undeniable electricity. I I was Angel Reese. Again. There's Caitlin Clark. All right. And to quote one Ace Ventura, fiction can be fun. Notice how they did, uh, didn't qualify this by saying the best women's sports league or even the best women's basketball league. They simply stated they're the best league in the world. If you take into account all the various professional leagues in the world, the WNBA wouldn't crack the top 25. Heck, it might not have been in the top 50. I think you would have hopscotch and uh, mm, playing jacks would go ahead of them. Now, you could argue that's implied. Maybe it is, but that's not what they said. I can't remember any other American sports pro league declaring itself the best league in the world except maybe the NFL. However, in the NFL's case, that would be true. There's an argument to be made of whether the WNBA is or isn't in the best women's league in the world. It depends on the criteria. Many WNBA players uh, played in overseas leagues because the pay and benefits are much better. Those leagues actually make a profit. The WNBA does not. Most watched WNBA game in history failed to draw 900,000 viewers. It's hard to find data on overseas television ratings, but it's certainly possible that the European's Women's League had more viewers. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. ESPN, WNBA appear afraid to lean too far into promoting the league's biggest star, Caitlin Clark. The only thing about the promo that struck me was how little they focused on Caitlin Clark. She doesn't appear until about halfway through the commercial, more like three quarters of the way through the commercial. Uh, the narrator mentioned the best draft class in history, and they do interlay the audio of Clark being selected number one overall. There she is. Of the two games that they are promoting, one of them is Clark's WNBA debut uh, in Connecticut Sun on Tuesday night. The promo doesn't even mention it or make it clear. How's that possible? It's because that ESPN nor the WNBA want to overly promote Clark. That's absurd since she's obviously the most popular player in WNBA history and she, isn't ha she didn't even step on the court yet. There's no really debate about that. 
Look at the women's NCAA uh, basketball tournament ratings when Caitlin Clark played. Her final four matchup against UConn drew 14 million viewers, the most watched in women's college history, which aired on Friday night. That's considered the worst television time slot that currently exists. The game before Clark between South Carolina and NC State aired before the Iowa's game in a slightly better time slot. That game drew half the viewers of Iowa and Connecticut. Uh, they want to push Angel Reese as a potential star in her own right. And she is. But here's the important question. Would Angel Reese be who she is today without Miss Caitlin Clark? Most people probably didn't know about Reese until she taunted Clark after the 23 NCAA Women's Championship. It was Clark that helped vaulted Reese into superstardom. We don't know for sure if Reese would be as popular as she is right now without Clark. But it's an educated guess she would, uh, we would suggest that's the answer. But ESPN can't go in all on Clark because it's a left-wing network. The WNBA is a far left-wing sports league. Uh, pushing the Clark over the black players in the league would make them racist. And at least in their minds, and most importantly, in the minds of extreme leftists on social media. Yeah, because you don't want to hear all the woke go, How dare you promote Caitlin Clark over the black players, you bigots. The WNBA has a unique opportunity to actually produce a profit for the first time in its history. It's likely to get over 1 million viewers for a game um, on a game that's first time ever. Uh, that's due to Caitlin Clark and has nothing to do with WNBA being the quote-unquote best league in the world. Self-awareness is important, but that's clearly not something that is a strong suit of either ESPN or the WNBA. That article hit it dead. Boom. Put a pin in it. That's exactly what needed to be said. And rightly so. The fact of the matter is, is that no one gave two f***s about the WNBA a year ago. No one. Absolutely no one. They couldn't draw flies to shit. But now a year later, everyone's talking about them. Why? Because of Caitlin Clark. They're your number. She's the face of the franchise right now. She's the face of your league right now, whether you like it or you don't like it. 25 years in existence. They can't make a profit. NBA has been basically bankrolling them for a quarter century. But now they have the ability to make a profit for the first time in its history. And yet they won't take full advantage of it. If you got, and I hate to use these comparisons, if you got the next Jordan, if you got the next uh, Stephon Curry, if you got the next Larry Bird, the next Magic Johnson, why not take advantage of it? I guarantee you, if there had been social media back 40 years ago, when Magic and Larry first came into the league, Oh, I guarantee you that they would have been blasted all over the place as this is that these two guys are the faces for the NBA for the next, what, decade and a half? And they were. But sadly, that's not where the case is. The WNBA doesn't give up, and neither does ESPN. Yeah, because they don't want to promote a quote-unquote white player over a quote-unquote black players in the league. Now, if they were smart, and if they wanted to, they could have said, did a promo with Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. They're the two most recognizable faces in the league right now. Whether the rest of the, the, the veteran players like it or not, they're the two most recognizable faces. Why not do something like a Larry versus Magic? You could do that. But you can't because she's number one and Reese was number seven pick. So that would be kind of hard to do. But it can be done. But they're not going to do it. Because they're not smart enough. You know, it takes a little bit of common sense to put a promo like that together. But then again, this is ESPN woke and uh, all lesbian WNBA. Should anyone be surprised? And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue uh, spreading the word about the show. Appreciate you guys watching as always. And we'll see you next time. Peace.